Good morning. Good good morning to you. How are you doing? This terrific talk to people Tuesday, and I sure hope you talk to someone today to invite to invite them to listen in to the Team Effort Lifestyle Call, where you are just going to hear some amazing, amazing, amazing life-changing stories. And what we're doing here in Team Effort Network is like none other. We are really changing people's lives one spray, one prayer, one day at a time. Great, wonderful, mighty, magnificent things are happening as a result of taking our 10 vitamin sprays. And let me keep you mindful that we cannot make any claimers that our vitamin sprays can heal, cure, or any sickness or disease. You may be done with, but I'm going to tell you what. By the time you finish listening to these testimonies, as a result of taking these vitamin sprays, you're going to know what's up. So, family, you're in the right place at the right time with the right product and the right company. So, welcome to the team up in Lifestyle Call. This is your host, Pastor Lisa Gell, along with my business partner, Pastor Del Wafer. Family, the line is open. Introduce yourself. Where are you coming in from? Yes, right you right from South Carolina. South Carolina in the house. Welcome, Ms. Selma. How are you? Hello. I'm well, thank you. Good to hear you. Dayton, Ohio, welcome. Washington, D.C. in the house. Robert, welcome, Robert. Welcome, welcome. Please say coming, family. Right Vicky Soto. Maryland. Now we're in the house. Vicki Soto, executive family member. How are you, dear? Doing great. Doing great. Good to hear you. Keep it coming, family. Keep it coming. Millionaire in the making. She was telling me that she's landing Welcome to the call, Millionaire in the making. Welcome to the call. Hi. Jesse Bell. Boston. Woo! Somebody's calling us from Boston. Is that Boston, Massachusetts? Boston snowed in Massachusetts. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Well, welcome, welcome. So good to have you with us this morning. Yeah, thank you. You're so welcome. The Bond Bergen. Hi, Bond. Thank you, Marilyn. Thank you, Dr. Denise. Thank you. Sandy Wallen. Go, Marilyn. Hi, Betty. How are you? Welcome from Marilyn. Sandy. Sandy. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Sandy. Welcome, dear. Thank you, Dr. Denise. You're so welcome. Yeah, Jesse Bell, welcome, Jesse. I heard you, Jesse Bell. And welcome, sir. Hey, thank you, Pastor Denise. Jesse. Jesse. So welcome. The conference is now in presentation mode. Your line is muted. Should every one of you so be here this morning? You know, you make such an investment in your business and your life and your belief level when you dial into the Team Effort Lifestyle Call. We have an amazing story uh, that I sure hope, I, I really hope that you guys invited someone to listen in uh, to these stories because they're, they're just amazing what's happening here in 10 and, and people are just not going to believe until they just hear it coming from the very person uh, who's witnessed this in their own life. And we have a phenomenal guest today, and I want to get right to her because I want her to take her time and share her amazing story. Um, but before I do, I just want you all to be mindful that there's a, the February promotion that's on the table uh, leading up to the big event, the Tennis Travaganza, which is just a few weeks away. My gosh, there's so much excitement about that event. You know, we're trying to charter a plane. <laughs> we have so many flying from the East Coast, um, and we're still going to work on that. But so we are able to get into the same hotel, and we're going to bring some information in regards to that at the end of the call. But keep it in mind, in order to be a part of the exclusive dinner with the owners of 10, Sam and Mel and Amy, uh, the promotion is to be DCQ, LCQ qualified, or within your first month of being LCQ qualified, or also just go ahead and get three new business partners on the diamond package, and you are part of that exclusive dinner in Las Vegas, Nevada, with the owners of, uh, of 10. Sam, Mel, and Amy Gill, you get the inside story. You get to ask questions. I answer to your questions. You get to hear things that no one else is going to be able to be able to hear. 
Uh, so you want to be a part of that. Um, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and bring our guest on because I'm just excited about having her with us today. And uh, uh, just, you know, it's, it's just amazing. Uh, this lady here, she's a beautiful woman, just a beautiful, beautiful woman of God. I uh, love the Lord, has a beautiful, gorgeous son and family, daughter-in-law. They're born to 10 business, um, doing wonders with the 10 business in Virginia area, taking over Virginia with 10. Um, but she has a story. She has a, something she's been dealing with most of her life. And uh, I'm going to bring her on to share her story. I'm excited. I don't even know what to say. I'm just so excited. So let me just bring her on. Pastor Teresa, are you here with us this morning? I am here. Hello, Ten family. <laughs> oh, everyone is saying hello. I know they are. Everyone is waving at the phone and saying hello. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Good morning. Good morning. I, good morning, dear. I want I want you to go ahead and just start just start sharing your story. Just I'm gonna get out the way, and I just want you to go ahead and, and let let everyone know what these ten vitamins phrase have done for you. Okay. Thank you. You know, I'm so excited. Uh, I could barely sleep last night because I knew that something powerful and something phenomenal was going to happen today. You know how you get those butterflies in your stomach and you, you're anticipating something, you know something great is about to happen, but you don't know all of the details. Well, that's the kind of feeling I had all throughout my sleep last night. So I've been praying for everyone that will be on this line today. And I just want to go into my story because I know that there's someone on the line that needs to hear this. Even those that have heard some of it before, it's about to go to the next level now because miracles are manifesting. So let me just tell you, especially for those that don't know my story, um, I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis in 2010. And at the same time, they diagnosed me with osteoarthritis, high blood pressure that I had been dealing with off and on, uh, and uh, sleep apnea. They did a sleep study on me, and I found out that I stopped breathing four to five times a night. And they told me not to take it lightly because I could surely die in my sleep very easily. And uh, also, um, not even long ago, they told me that there were traces of uh, fibromyalgia. And so, you know, having been healthy most of my life, this was kind of devastating for me because I, the reason why I went to the doctor in the first place is because I got to the point that I could barely walk. I could, it was painful for me to walk. And so I, I noticed that I would avoid walking and um, the type of work I did, you know, I could sit at my desk uh, all day long and uh, except for go to the bathroom, which was right around the corner. <laughs> And uh, I, let me tell you a little bit about what I was doing before uh, before I was diagnosed. I I had been blessed, and um, God had put me in a place of favor. I was working for Homeland Security and FEMA because President Bush put FEMA under Homeland Security. I worked for presidential appointees, and uh, those are people that's appointed by the president himself, and they report directly to the president. So my position of favor was that wherever my boss went, I had to go. And uh, so I had to uh, organize and take care of things for him. I worked under the Bush administration and also under the Obama administration. So I had a very interesting job. I was in and out of the White House like I lived there. It, you know, people knew me around the White House. I know a lot of the White House officials by first name, and they know my name. And so, you know, when this happened, I was at the peak of, uh, of something great happening in my life, and I couldn't believe that now, uh, a moment that I have waited for all of this time, and now I'm sick. So I went to the doctor, and I also they also told me I had a vitamin D deficiency, deficiency, a very severe vitamin D deficiency. I think it was about a 17 at the time. And um, 
also a vitamin B deficiency, and uh, which is very interesting. And later on, I'll tell you why. Now, those that don't know about rheumatoid arthritis, it's a crippling disease. And you may have somebody that you know or somebody in your family or somebody that's connected to you that um, may have uh, rheumatoid arthritis. And if it's not treated, and this is what the doctors told me, if it's not treated, then I could end up in a wheelchair. But even with treatment with the pharmaceuticals and the meds that they had to put me on, which was steroids and uh, some other uh, um, uh, severe meds that uh, had serious side effects like blindness and all, all type of serious side effects. So I knew that I didn't want to be on no pills for a long time because I didn't want to use medicine to treat a problem that was going to cause a problem. Mm. And uh, so uh, moving on, I wound up, they gave me so many prescriptions, I wound up having to take about 10 pills a day just to function. And sometimes I would still be in pain or couldn't stand for long periods of time, so I would just switch from leg to leg and, uh, you know, or even try to find a seat, you know, very quickly. And uh, so this you know the, the the meds weren't fixing the thing is what I'm trying to trying to get to. They told me there was no cure. That's what they told me. There was no cure for rheumatoid arthritis, and uh, it was something that I was going to have for the rest of my life. And that these are the things that we're going to do. We're going to put you on steroids. We're going to put you on these other meds. We're going to use um, pain management, which is uh, physical therapy. So I was doing physical therapy three times a week. I was taking water aerobics. I've done it all. Whatever they told me to do, that's what I was doing. Because they also told me that my high blood pressure could lead to um, stroke or heart attack because I would get my blood pressure would go up so high until I, and when I think about it, I, I really get emotional about it because a lot of this, even my family didn't know because I wasn't telling them. And, uh, but I thank God. And um, so I was on the high blood pressure meds to try to keep the blood pressure down because sometimes I would get so dizzy and uh, sometimes I would be on the metro uh, because I would drive part of the way. I didn't catch the metro. I'd be down in the in the metro and feel like I was going to pass out. And so I would call my sister and I would say, if anything happens to me, I'm down here in the metro. So I am on here today to encourage somebody. I'm on here today because I want somebody to catch fire. I want them to catch on fire about these uh, vitamin sprays, and I'll tell you why. But I really want to paint a picture of what I was going through. I wish I was on video, like a uh, um, a uvu or one of these video calls where you all can see me because right now I'm in the gym. I'm in the gym. And then... Um, well, let me tell you the, about the the uh, like the sleep apnea. I told you about that. All of my hair fell out uh, as a result of the medications and everything. And uh, uh, I don't know about you, but uh, my I love my hair. You know, I'm, I never believed that all my hair would fall out from anything, and so that was even devastating for me. <laughs> Excuse me. At times, I would cry. And I didn't want people to see me cry because I represented strength in the community. I represented strength in my family. I represented strength to my children. You know, um, I basically been a single parent. Uh, I can't take all of the credit, but most of the time I was a single parent. And some of you know my son, Eric Gales. I have another son, Dante Gales, and uh, my 14 year old and my daughter. And, uh, Takia Gales and uh, uh, Takia Jones now. <laughs> and um, so I didn't want my kids to worry. I didn't want my kids to be upset about what was going on with me. So I would hide it. And I know somebody on the line can relate to that because I didn't want Kitty. 
I didn't want pity. I wanted a solution and I wanted an answer. And I wasn't just going to take for granted what the doctors were saying to me. I wanted to know what I could do about it. I wanted to get proactive about what was going on with me, just like anything else in my life. If there was a problem, that I do my best to try to solve that problem. And uh, so, you know, after not being able to work, I wound up losing everything, things, assets, and things were being taken left and right. And I don't know uh, if you all can relate to that, but it's very painful when you start seeing things that you didn't work for for long periods of time being taken away from you um, because of your inability uh, to maintain but all it takes is one sickness, and that's why I'm on here today, because I want somebody to catch fire, catch on fire, and be ignited, and really get out here and tell people about these vitamin sprays. So I hope I gave you a picture, because uh, time won't allow me to go into uh, heavy, heavy detail, but I, I want to give you enough that when you get off of this phone line, you can't wait to talk to somebody, that you can't wait to dial somebody's number, that you can't wait to drive over, take some time and drive over someone's house that, that you know is going through some battles of sickness. Now, just like the Pastor Denise said, we can't claim that the vitamin sprays heal anything, but I'm a witness that these sprays work, and I'll tell you why. Because just last week, now mind you, I've been on the sprays since June. Now, and all the time I didn't even have uh, all of them at my disposal, <laughs> but I, I started out with uh, five pack and taking all five of the vitamins. But you know, it's a little difficult for me to maintain them all the whole time. That's how I know they work because I was, I couldn't take all five of them uh, all of these months because I didn't have all five of them. But let me tell you this. Just last week, my doctor, I, I had did a blood test about three weeks ago. And so last week, my doctor called me. I was so glad that I was sitting down because what she had to say to me was remarkable. It was a miracle. Listen to this. She says, I called to give you your test results. And she said, let me give you the bad news first and then the good news. She said, the bad news is that I still see the osteoarthritis, some in the back and some in the ankles. And she said, um, um, but uh, and because I did x-rays too. And uh, she said, but, uh, and uh, there's some hint of fibromyalgia still. And she said, but the good news is that as far as the rheumatoid arthritis, she says, as far as the results are concerned, there is no rheumatoid arthritis. I'm telling you, I was sitting there, my mind, I couldn't even wrap my mind around what she was saying. It was unbelievable because this is the same doctor that said that to me that I would have rheumatoid arthritis the rest of my life. But I came on this line to tell you today, I'm hoping that there's somebody on the line that has rheumatoid arthritis. I'm just hoping and praying that there's somebody on the line that needs hope in a hopeless situation because all I'm telling you is that I sprayed and sprayed and sprayed and sprayed and sprayed. I was going through bottles like you've never seen before. That's why I couldn't keep them because I was going through them left and right. I would spray up my bottles, my son's bottles, my daughter-in-law's bottles, my sister's bottles, Jesse, my upline, <laughs> God bless Jesse, spray his bottles every time I come to a TTP. But I want you to know, Jesse, it was all worth it because I'm experiencing a tangible miracle right now. I'm walking in the miracle. I'm, I, you know, it's amazing. It's amazing. So when the doctor told me that, I was walking around the house saying, I don't have it. 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 I don't have rheumatoid arthritis. I mean, it's necessary to speak it into the atmosphere because I was reminded that two or three days before that, uh, but my daughter-in-law and I had a conversation, uh, and uh, so I had started saying that I don't have it three days before the diagnosis came. 
uh, before the uh, report came from the blood test and the x-ray. And uh, so I have been saying, I don't have it. I don't have it. So exactly what I spoke out of my mouth is what manifested. I don't know about you, but if you've ever been in a lot of pain, if you've ever been diagnosed with something that the doctor said that you would have for the rest of your life, you'll be like me. I can't sit still. I'm excited. I, I was about to bust wide open because I had the whole Hold it for one day, 24 hours, because the doctor told me on Monday, and God told me, don't tell it until the TTP the next day, which was Tuesday. And so I had to hold this kind of dynamite for 24 hours. So, but when I got to the TTP, I couldn't wait. I let I let it loose, and it just so happened that Pastor Denise was there, <laughs> so she was able to hear firsthand. What had happened to me? You know, this thing is off the chain. I wanted somebody to catch fire today. Today is the day to get out and let people know that these sprays work. I don't care what nobody says. I'm living proof that these sprays work. They work, I'm telling you. So get out and tell somebody. Don't let nothing stop you. So those that have um, become complacent or, you know, maybe you feel like throwing in the towel or maybe you feel like giving up. I'm here to tell you now is not the time. You have to uh, round your stuff up, get your stuff back up, put on your gear and get out there once again and, and be ignited and tell people about these wonderful, wonderful, wonderful vitamin sprays. My hat is off to you, Amy and Mel Gill. I thank God for the day that that, that uh, he allowed you to come up with such a phenomenal uh, product because if, it, if he had not, then I would be sitting here now, maybe in a wheelchair. Who knows? Because that's what they said was going to happen to me. But I refuse to go in anybody's wheelchair. Now I'm in the gym three or four times a week. I'm in here now. <laughs> as soon as I get off of this call, I'm going to work. And uh, I'm able to sleep at night. Now, with that, uh, all of that going on, I couldn't sleep. I was tossing and turning all night long. And, and, and aching. And the only thing, only way I was able to sleep was take Percocet. And that it would knock me out. And then I would go to sleep like that. And I didn't want to live like that. So I'm able to, so my sleep is important to me. And, uh, you know, I, uh, I'm on no man's mind. You, hey, <laughs> somebody need to get excited from 10 pills down to none. Now, you know, that's enough to jump up and down. Mm -mm -mm. And, uh, yes, I changed my diet. I stopped eating all that meat. I mean, it's a life-changing uh, situation for me. My life has changed. The 10 vitamin sprays have given me my life back. And not only me, everybody around me is catching the fire. You know, uh, my mother, uh, God bless her heart, she's on the vitamin sprays. My dad, who is 87 years old, he's on the vitamin sprays, um, my sisters, my uh, my sons, uh, my daughter, my daughter-in-law, uh, oh my God, just everybody around us uh, that we're telling everybody about these vitamin sprays. And for the first time uh, in my life, you know, I'm, I, I am just... Um, sometimes I say at a loss for words, but all you got to do is get me to start talking about it. <laughs> and then you can't shut me up. <laughs> Excuse me. But it is amazing. It is amazing what's going on here in Virginia. And, um, you know, I... Uh, all of that's good news. All of that's good news. There is no rheumatoid arthritis. If you don't remember anything else I've said today, I want you to remember that I said that there's no more rheumatoid 
are arthritis. That's what the doctor said. No more. Now, what is it that you're dealing with? What is it that your family members are dealing with so that they too can get to the point where they can say no more diabetes, no more heart disease, no more uh, fibromyalgia, no more uh, chronic pain, no more uh, whatever it is that they're experiencing. No more. It doesn't exist. Start speaking it out of your mouth. I don't have it. I don't have it because that's what I did. I don't have it. I don't have rheumatoid arthritis. I don't have, and now I'm working on these other ones. So, you know, uh, but that was the, the biggest hurdle. So now I know that if I can be, if my body can be rid of rheumatoid arthritis, then the rest of them have to go to osteoporosis. Uh, osteoarthritis has to go. Fibromyalgia, it has to go. There's no more. No more. I've already started saying it. There is no fibromyalgia. There is no uh, osteoarthritis. There is no sleep apnea. There is no high blood pressure. They all have to pack up and go today. <laughs> oh, my goodness, Pastor Teresa. You know, Pastor Teresa, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I know everybody on the calls is just shouting and scared, excited to hear your stories. It's so amazing. So amazing, and I can understand your joy Ooh, for going through something for so long and then finally getting a report from the doctor that what you have suffered for so long is now gone. That is, oh that is a miracle. I mean, when you suffer, I remember when your son Eric <clears throat> talked about your story, when he talked about you, he says, you know, my mom, you know, before they sprayed, she was sick. She couldn't. She, he would say she would, uh, you, I think you have to run track together, something like that, right? Yeah, a power walker. I used to be a power walker. A power walker. He said, my mom used to be a power walker, and she got this condition. She got sick, and she wasn't able to walk with me anymore. And he, and he said, my mom was the strong one in the family. Everyone looked at her for the strength, and then she just got sick, and it just wasn't the same. But he says, now I got my mom back. Like, I got my mom <laughs> back. Then, you know, she's in the gym, and she's working out, and she's doing good, and she's looking good, and and she's feeling better. And my goodness, this is what uh, this lifestyle that Nolan McGill has promised, you know, and, and offered us. This is what it is, getting that lifestyle back, living the life that you want to live. Pastor Teresa said she was on 10 different medications. She was taking yeah. 10 different medications just to get through a day. She's off. Did you hear her say she's off of all medications now because of the 10 oh, vitamins of You know, she's on blood pressure medication to keep her from having a heart attack. Uh, she, the doctor told her there was no care for her condition. She was losing her hair. She wasn't getting good sleep. She lost losing your personal possessions because you're so sick, because your medical bills are taking all your money and taking you away from your job. And you can't even make the money to pay for your medical bills. We heard um, last week Shakita Day, uh, Shakita Day said that the number one cause for debt uh, and bankruptcy is medical bills. And mm -hmm. Dr. Teresa medical said, bill. you know, she, yeah, she watched her personal things just be taken away from her because of a condition, an illness that she was dealing with. But now, now Pastor Teresa is saying a condition the doctor said that she had. And how many how many years yeah. did you have that, Pastor Teresa? How long did you have rheumatoid, rheumatoid arthritis? Well, I was diagnosed with it in 2010. But when I look back, uh, you know, I remember like feeling like uh, I didn't want to walk. So that kind of started maybe about two years before that, but it was, wasn't all the time. It was just every now and then, you know. But when it got bad, it was around uh, 2010. Wow. And that's what made so me go to the doctor. So, you know, I, I, I just, I want to help somebody. So now I'm looking for people with rheumatoid arthritis. And one, one thing I want to say to uh, the audience is that, you know, when you know people that are going through like this, tell them, don't wait, don't wait. You see, because I really believe that because they were able to catch it, um, you know, and then and, and diagnose it at an early stage before it did degenerative uh, damage, you know, uh, because it, it, it um it uh, crushes, you know, it not crushes your bones, but what it does is that it weakens your bones. Uh, to the point where there's, uh, you know, it can be no repair. So um, that's, time is of essence. If you know anybody that has it or have any of these audioimmune 
uh, diseases, uh, bone issues. They need to uh, catch it early. They need to get on these sprays early because I still yeah. have um, I still have osteoarthritis, but the whole thing is the vitamin D. See, because my D still there's still room for improvement with my vitamin yeah. D. It's going up, but I still can tell. I'm gonna get like uh, my upline Jesse yeah. Bowden. Uh, his is about a hundred. <laughs> And, yeah. and that's where I'm trying to get to. I'm thankful I have a role model. <laughs> Jesse's vitamin D level D that went from a Jesse. I think his vitamin D was a 19. Excuse me for taking the sprays. And since Jesse's mm-hmm. still in the sprays, his vitamin D level, and he keeps this report with him. I'm sure he's going to have it in Las Vegas, Nevada, because he carries that report with him because he's amazing. So he said, my vitamin D level is now one. I think he said it's 104, 104. <laughs> yes. from taking and you know, I days. want, and also I want to give a shout out to my son, Eric, because yes. if it had not been for Eric and Jesse meeting, oh, yes. oh my mm-hmm. God. And so mm-hmm. um, if my son is on the line, I love you. I love you, and I'll never forget that God used you to bring the vitamin sprays into my life. And I'm experiencing a miracle because of it. So get up and run with whatever God gives you. Get up and run. Go do it. Go do it, because there's greatness on the other end of that. Oh, goodness. Pastor Teresa, thank you so very much. Yeah, be good to your children. Be good to your children because you never know how God is going to use those children in your lives. So be good to your children. And I have one more thing that I want to say. And and it was a a quote that I read. And I know we have our quotes coming on. But this one I wanted to share with the audience. And it says, the saddest tragedy of life is our heart that has not caught fire. And that touched me because you really do. Your heart needs to be on fire, especially with something like this. You need to have compassion. Compassion will move you to go do what you normally wouldn't do. So catch on fire. May your heart catch on fire today that you would bring a change of life into somebody's life. My God. Well, Pastor Teresa, I am sure, more than positive, <clears throat> that your story has set many hearts on fire today. Me, I'm going to bring on Pastor Dale right now when I pull it together. Pastor Dale, are you there? <clears throat> Pastor Dale, are you on the call with us? I'm going to try to pull it together. If not, um, Kevin Vaughn, will you please come on the call, please? Absolutely, absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, I tell you, wow. Pastor Teresa, what an incredible, incredible testimony. Incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, all around the world, I tell you, this, we just thank God for Mel and Amy Gill and Mr. Gill bringing the sprays, bringing the opportunity to us all across the globe. And I really, how do you come behind the Pastor Teresa's testimony right there, ladies and gentlemen? How do you come behind that? I just want you guys to understand a few things that we have very special business. We have a very special bond uh, with uh, Pastor Denise, Pastor Dale, as our leaders, and all the other leaders on the call and on the globe. We have a very special network, ladies and gentlemen. It's called Team Effort Network. And as Pastor Dale would say, has the needs do not play with this one, ladies and gentlemen. It's very, mm-hmm. very serious because you're changing people's lives. That's one of our models for the new people on the call. That's one of our models in our network, Team Effort International, changing people's lives. And as I want to challenge you because of what Pastor said or what Pastor Teresa said, I want to challenge everybody on the call because we do this down here in Atlanta. You need to ask people to ask in their families what is going on with their health. You need to find out. Everybody on the call, you need to find out. Everybody in your family that you can get in touch with, ask them about their health. Ask your coworkers about their health. Ask your business partners about their health. Ask your church members about their health. Ask your associates about your health. 
people that you make eye contact with and make a conversation with. Ask them, how are you really doing? I believe we may have something that can help you. Ask on social media, ladies and gentlemen. There's millions of people a day, a second probably right now, a, a second on social media. Ask the questions about their health. Let people know you care about them. Let people know you're interested in finding out how you can help them, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very important that we do that, guys. And yes, can I, uh, uh, Kevin, yes, can I say something? I want yes. to um, encourage people. I know that many, you know, are in the business and they want to make money, but I want to encourage yeah. you because God has said to me, he said, now I want you to go and tell people what I've done. He said, and yeah. don't worry about the money. He said, I'm going to bring you the money. He said, if you go Absolutely. and tell people about what's happening or what I've done, he said, that I'm going to bring you the money. All of the money that you need, I'm going to bring it to you. That's right. That's exactly right. Pastor. <laughs> very, very important. And, guys, you got to understand that the money is at the bottom of the pole. It's at the bottom of this everything. It's all about the people. Please understand that. It's not about the money. The money will come. It's part of the blessing. But guess what, guys? It's all about changing people's lives. You cannot get any better than what you heard today from Pastor Therese. You cannot get any better than that. She's excited. She's happy. Her son's excited, her sister-in-law's excited, daughter-in-law's, all the family's excited. You can't get any better than that, guys. That's what it's all about. When you bless people, you want to bring them up. It's not about mm -hmm. us. It's all about other people, ladies and gentlemen. And we're just excited about this call today. I am just got me motivated to go out more to talk to more people today, guys. I hope that's what you got. Yeah. Also, you could talk to 20 to 30 people a day. Uh, about these sprays, if nothing else, you mentioned Pastor Tanisha. Yes. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Talk I wanted to say guy. that. I wanted to say that I need a bigger audience. I need a bigger audience. Yeah. I want to show this thing yeah. out to the world. The world needs to hear absolutely. this. Absolutely, absolutely. So I know that's going to happen for you, and God's going to drop everything you need as far as ideas and networking, and we just uh, believe God's going to bring the people that you need to see each and every day, Pastor. So I'm so excited. Well, guys, I'm excited that, you know, quotes, we got a few quotes for you today. And, uh, Pastor, feel free to come back in anytime you like there, of course. But guys, we got well, some powerful well, quotes Kevin, for you before today. You, before you do the quotes, can I say something real quick? Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, man, I am just so heartfelt. I am I am yeah. just so blessed, Pastor Teresa, uh, Teresa, to hear your testimony and what God is doing. My husband has not wasn't able to be on the call right now for a meeting that yeah. he's participating in, but I right. have listened. I can't stop listening. This was such a blessing, such a blessing. Yeah. And I pray that God will give you the audience that you so desire to have to give your testimony that is going to change a life from throughout this world in Jesus name. So I thank you so much for coming on this call and sharing it yeah. for such a time as this. Thank Powerful. you. Thank you. Bless wow. You. Incredible. What a great, great call today, ladies and gentlemen. I want to encourage everybody to get this call. It will be recorded. Uh, I believe it's being recorded by Terry Whitener. You make sure you guys send that out to everybody on the planet when it's uh, recorded, you know, ready to, to send out. But, guys, please share this wonderful business call, 10, Team Effort Network, Changing People's Lives, ladies and gentlemen. And ladies and gentlemen, I want to let you know before we keep keep going here, uh, we can be on this call another hour easy. Uh, the, uh, the quote, real easy, as you know, Pastor, real easy. Well, as you know, uh, Pastor talked about this, and the theme for today, can you believe it or not, God is so good, you deserve the best. That's your theme yes. today, guys. You deserve the best. And the quotes of the day are this. First one is by Cheryl Sorrento. She says, if you want something better for your life, you got to start by believing you deserve it. Come on now. Yes. You deserve better health. You deserve good health. You deserve the best for you. Our next quote, ladies and gentlemen, comes from Nelson Man Mandela. He says, there is no passion. That's what Pastor has today. There is no passion to be found in selling for a life that is less than the one you are capable of living. Oh, come on, guys. You are capable mm. of living the best life possible. Yeah. Mandela. 
I love it. Hey, the next quote of the day is, if you feel like you deserve better, it's because you do. Oh, come on now. If it's in your mm-hmm. heart, it's in your spirit, you deserve it. That means you do deserve it. So if it's in there, you need to bring it out and share it with somebody else. Hey, our next quote comes from Unknown. Sometimes all you have to do is forget what you feel and remember what you deserve. Come on now. Just always put the best in front of you. Always put the best in front of you. Things are going to happen, but think of the best things that you deserve. Our last quote of the day comes from an awesome gentleman. His name is Kevin Vaughn. He says, you deserve the best future. See it. Believe it. Build your team toward it (laughs) and enjoy the future with others. Welcome to your future, ladies and gentlemen. Share this awesome opportunity. Back to you, Pastor. Love you guys. Mm-hmm. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Pastor Dell, did you make it to the call? Hello? Okay. Okay. Oh, hi, Diane. I'm sorry. I didn't like to say that he was really on. But, okay, I did, yeah, I did make it to the call. I did make it to the call, and I, I like that. I like that quote from Kevin Vaughn. <laughs> that was a great quote from Kevin got for Kevin Vaughn. And uh, Pastor Teresa, I was able to catch the last part of that testimony. Wow, wow, wow! Amazing. You know, God is faithful. He's constantly moving, and it's people like you uh, that's going to help this company and this brand uh, get into the lives, uh, get into the hands of the lives of people that need a physical change in their bodies. And uh, just tremendous, tremendous uh, uh, opportunity to hear your evolution. Uh, You started out with (laughs) your your testimonies prior, you know, when you first came in, and the evolution of what's taking place in your body has just been tremendous and and, and, and amazing. So great, great job. Great having you back on the call. It's been a long time, uh, but it's great having you back with that great testimony. Uh, Yeah. Just wanted to real quickly well, wrap up. Uh, go sometimes ahead. I'm on the call, but I just don't say anything. <laughs> so you yeah, never know yeah. who's on the call. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Well, let me just go do a quick run through, guys, real quick. Uh, uh, you know, uh, February 21st, I'm going to be in Dayton, Ohio, with Vicki Soto and Denise Moore uh, there in Dayton, Ohio, at the Sinclair College. If you have people in that surrounding area of Kentucky, uh, Chicago, Detroit, uh, anywhere in Columbus, anywhere those areas of, the, of Ohio, you want to be there. It's going to be a blowout session. It's going to be an amazing Super Saturday. I'm really pumped up and ready, ready to go. I, I, I mean, listen, we're going in strong. We're going to bring in so many people this year, and we're going to start it right here in Dayton, Ohio. i got a feeling I'm going to be in Dayton many times this year. So this is going to be an amazing, amazing push that we're having. So if you want more information on it, go to super10.info, super10.info to get more information about the Dayton, Ohio. Then we're going to come right back here to the uh, Maryland market here, the DMV, and we want you to come down again. We want you to come down from New York, Pittsburgh, and all around the, uh, the Carolinas back up here at the Greenbelt Marriott on, uh, on February 28th, we're going to be busting this thing out. It's going to be an amazing, amazing uh, Super Saturday. We're going to have some more uh, of our, our newer, newer members who have been a part of this business, who are growing their organizations, who are very professional, who is doing really, really well. We're going to give them some platform time to just really you know, encourage, empower, and give you guys some strategies, again, about how to build your business. So, again, uh, February 28th here in Maryland at the Greenbelt Marriott. It's going to be an amazing time. And then, guys, we're off. We're off to March 14th in Las Vegas. Woo! Let me tell you, it is going to be amazing. Here we have this 12-year-old debt-free company. Now we're one-year-old in our new division. And let me tell you, guys, there's, there's network, network marketing companies closing every single week. Uh, and we've been around for 12 years and still going strong just this week. Just this week, wake up now. Wake up now is on their way out of business. I'm, I'm sad to say because we like to see, you know, we like to see our industry strive. But it just goes to show you, if you don't have good management, if you don't have a good system, if you don't have good people, 
you know, uh, you're not going to be around long. And uh, they stopped paying commissions last month. Let me tell you, if you know anybody in Wake Up Now, you need to go get them because they're looking for a home. I talked to one of their top leaders today, Eric. He said, we're looking for a home. I got 50,000 people. We got to find a home. So let me tell you guys, they are looking for a good company and a good home. And you guys know wow. we got the best company on the market. Okay. Wow. So go for it. Look for them. So we're going to be in uh, uh, Las Vegas, March 14th. It's going to be a blowout session. It's going to be a blast with Mel and Amy. You want to get there. And, uh, and listen, we got some room blocks right now at the Treasure Island Hotel right across the street from the Mirage. If you don't have your tickets, we got room blocks right now. $408 for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Uh, no resort fee. It's, it's the best price you're going to get to be that close to the Mirage. I'm going to see if, uh, if uh, Karen Stewart, she's the one who's leading that effort for the block room, Karen Stewart from Atlanta, I want to find out that she's on the line. line. Karen, are you on the line? Yes, I am. Hey, Thank Karen, you. how are you? I'm fine. How are you? Okay. Good. Yes, well, just take just take the next 90 seconds and give us those numbers and uh, and give us your contact information because I want people to call you. Don't call me. Call Karen because she's leading this effort for us. Okay. Um, yeah, the Treasure Island Hotel is located right next door to the Mirage, and I had um, got a block for rooms for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And, you know, for those of you that don't come on Thursday, I, I – told them that you know that was an option but for thursday night is 65 dollars friday 150 and saturday 150 and with the tax that comes to 40880 for the whole weekend and that's based on single or double occupancy now there is a, a 30 dollar fee for the third or fourth guest in the room but with if you book through us uh you don't have to pay the resort fee which at this time is about $32 a night um, per room. So, you know, that would be that, adding another 60 to $90 to your bill. So you will, you, if you book online on your own, you will have to pay the resort. So um, that's something to look at. And um, I would like, if uh, the 25th is the last day to book at the group rate, so um need to email me as soon as you can. Um, my email address is ksmvibes at aol.com. That's K as in kitten, S is in Sam, M is in money, V is in victory, I is in igloo, B is in boy, E is in elephant, S is in Sam, and it's at aol.com. And put 10 event in the subject line. And then I'll forward our special booking link and phone number as soon as I get it. They said I should have that by tomorrow afternoon. And um, also, for those of you that don't want to have to walk over to the Mirage, there is a free tram service between the Treasure Island and the Mirage. So that's just another little perk of staying at the Treasure Island. So, um, again, you can email me with the subject 10 event to ksmvibes at aol.com. Give us your number, also, Karen. Give us your number uh, as well. 770 761 9450. And if I don't answer, leave leave um, a message. You cannot send a text to that number. It's 770 761 9450. Well, and this is great, guys. This is a four star uh, hotel. It's going to be great. This is a place where most of our, our people are gathering. And let me tell you, you want to be where the synergy is. And that's why we wanted to find a location where we all could be together. And uh, to be right there next to the Mirage, there's going to be people standing in the Mirage, but there's also going to be a lot of people standing at the Treasure Island. It's just going to give you another opportunity to synergize, to meet with the top leaders, uh, and, and to have lunch, and have dinner, and the breakout sessions. Uh, it's going to be a great opportunity. When you go to the big, these big events, you want to create memories. You want to take videos with people. You want to take pictures with people. You want to create memories so you can go back and say, you know, a year ago we were at the Mirage Hotel for our one-year launch. I was with this group. I remember them. And then, you know, a year later, you all are one stars in the company. This is where you get things happen. Big things happen at big events. So get with Karen. 
Uh, give her a call. We need to get these rooms locked in right away, so don't wait till the last minute. These are some really, really good prices to be that close to the fire. And let me tell you, there will be fire. Back to you, Pastor D. Close it out. Great things are happening here at Team Effort Network, and you want to be a part of it. You know, you got to remember what Mel said. Mel said that when him and Amy were, uh, you know, when they were distributors, the way that their team always won was they knew how to get involved with the right activity at the right time. So you need to have you yourself and your team involved with these activities. The, the event is taking place in Dayton, Ohio on the 21st. <laughs> the event is taking place on the 28th here in Greenbelt, Rome at the Greenbelt Marriott. These events are leading up to the big 10 extravaganza, and you've got to be there for the 10 extravaganza if you want the fullness of what's being offered through Team Effort Network. You got to be there and bring your team. You cannot come alone. Get together with your team. Get in the huddle, family, and work it out to be there at these events. Pastor Teresa, my God, once again, thank you so much for that life changing, heartfelt story. It took me a minute to pull myself together. And Jesse Bowden sent me a text, Pastor. He said that uh, he was at work listening and he got so choked up that his boss asked him if he needed to go home. He didn't know how to My God, God my God. Yeah. He got so choked. He says, my God, are you okay, sir? Do you need to go home? That's how I choked him. I'm pretty sure many of it, as they listen to your story, it's such a joy yeah. and your happiness. Yeah, something, and something is happening. Something is resonating. Something is moving. Yeah. It's moving like fire, and it cannot be stopped. It cannot yeah. be stopped. And I want to ask everybody on the line, how much is your health worth? That's the question that God gave me to uh, put out here today. How much is your health worth? How much mm. is your loved one's health worth to you? Mm. Well, I love you I all, can... Tim family. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor Teresa, we love you too. We love you so much. And once again, thank you uh, for sharing that life changing story. You know, Sam, I always say, Mel and Amy Gill. We love you, and we thank you so much for allowing us. We love you, Mel and Amy. (laughs) Yes, we love you so much, and we thank God for, uh, thank you for allowing God to use you to help the ordinary person live an extraordinary life of abundance and freedom. We appreciate you so much, family. Um, Be on the call tonight with Mr. T, 8 o'clock TM, show me the money call. You're going to hear more great things, what's happening in the Team FN Network, and be back with us again tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock AM. Uh, Pacific, 11 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time, to hear more life-changing stories of uh, Team Effort Network. Family, we love you so much. You're loved. You're appreciated. Now go out there and share, share, share. Have a blessed day on purpose. God bless you all. Mm-hmm.